Hey everyone, Matt here with Night Run Studio. In our last video, we got a health system set up so that our player can take damage when encountering an enemy or obstacle and eventually be destroyed, but it looks kind of lame as there's no visual feedback to really show us that he's actually taking damage. So in this video, we're going to add a traditional RPG numeric health-based system. We'll also add a little bit of juice so that it animates each time we take a hit, just to make it a little more visually interesting. Now, if you're more interested in a slider bar or heart-based system, you can check out my tutorials on those topics as well. Let's get started. Now, the first thing we need to do is create a UI element to house our health points. So let's right click in the hierarchy, go down to UI, and we're gonna add an image. This will create a big white square in the screen, which I'll just rename to Health UI. Next, I'm just gonna click on the canvas itself, and we'll also rename that to Player UI. At this point, if I zoom out, you can see that my health UI is just this square inside of this really huge rectangle. I'm just going to drag my game view side by side here so we can see how these interact. And you'll notice that as I move the image around within this rectangle, it moves within our screen space. At this point, I'm just going to click on my anchor presets, hold shift and click this top left one, which is just going to make it so the image is always anchored to the top left. I can offset it by using my position X and Y here but it will always be anchored in relation to this top left corner now. At this point, I just want to change the sprite from this weird white square. I'm going to head down to my Tiny Swords asset pack, and I'm going to use the banner horizontal image and just drag it into that box. You'll see that it gets replaced, but it's very small. In my rec transform, I'm just going to play with these numbers in here and try 800 by 400, which makes the pixels roughly the same size as my tile set, which looks about right. At this point, I just need to change my offset as the image has changed its size. With that done, I can put my game view back in place, and I've got a pretty decent looking banner here. Now, before we go any further, I'm just going to click on the player UI canvas itself. And if we look in canvas scaler, you'll see that it's set to constant pixel size. This will look fine right now, but when we change screen sizes, you'll notice that the UI will also change its size in sort of an awkward way. What we want is that no matter what screen size we're using, this scales so that it takes up the same percentage of the screen. To do that, we'll just use scale with screen size and make sure that our reference resolution here matches what it says in our game view. I'm using 1920 by 1080, so I'll slot those numbers in. Now when we build our game later on and play it on different screens, it should scale to the correct size. Now the next thing we want to do is add our text. I'm going to go to my health UI image here, right click and go to UI Text Mesh Pro. Now, if this is a new project for you, you might not have that option, in which case you'll want to go to the Package Manager, make sure you're in Unity Registry, and search up Text Mesh Pro. Now, when you get back in Unity, you should be able to right-click on our Health UI object, go to UI once more, and add Text Mesh Pro. You will want the Essentials, and I encourage you to get the Extras as well, as that will give you extra fonts to choose from. I'll just name this HP text, and then I'll come down to this actual text area here, and I'll just put HP colon 100 slash 100. This is just sort of a space holder for now, so we can see what it looks like. At this point, I'm just going to double click on HP text to zoom out in my scene view here. I'm going to go to my anchor presets, and while holding down shift, I'll just click this expand button here. It will then take up the space of the entire image, which in this case is actually a little more space than we want. So I'll just grab these nodes here to drag it down so that the box fills up the entire space for our image. Next, I'm just going to play around with the way this looks a little bit. I'm going to use the bangers font, go with a darker color, and resize it. Finally, I'll just center everything so it looks nice in the middle here. If you like, you can also play with things like the underlay. I'm just going to add a little bit of an offset here to give it a sort of shadow effect behind. All right, that's looking pretty good. Now we just have to get this hooked up to our code. Now we've already got a script called player health that has this information. You can adapt this if you're using a different system and it should work as well. Now what we just want to do here is make a reference to that text we just created in Unity. So we'll make a public TMP underscore text. Let's call it health text. It won't like that for the moment. That's because we don't have Text Mesh Pro added to our namespaces. So we can come up to the top here and just add using TM Pro. That'll get rid of that ugly red underline. And now we just want to make sure that we're actually updating our Text Mesh Pro each time our health changes. We'll want to do this once at the very start of our game. So we'll just tell our health text component that the text should read, so we'll put equals, 
HP in quotation marks. I'm going to add a plus sign, and then we're going to add some more data to appear in the text. The first will be our current health, which is just the variable we created up top. We'll hit plus, then in quotation marks do our slash sign, add another plus, we'll put our max health. I'm just going to copy that line and actually paste it down here in our change health method so that right after we update our health, it always changes our text mesh pro as well. At this point, we just have to hook it up in Unity. You'll see that our player health script on the player now has an empty box here called health text. We can drag our text mesh pro component into there. And actually, for testing purposes, I'm just going to put some gibberish here so you can see that it works on startup. All right, you'll see that it changed on startup, and now each time I take damage, my health does indeed go down until I get to zero. Now, just to add a little bit of juice to this, let's make it so that our HP text actually reacts visually, not just changing the number, but actually growing and stretching each time we take damage. We can do this relatively easily if I just double-click the HP text, and we're just going to add an animation. I'm going to use my animation pane here. If you don't yet have one, you can just go Windows, go down to Animation, and add an animation pane. Well clicked on HP text then, you can hit Create. I'm going to put mine in my sprites. I already have an animations folder there. I'm going to call this one Text Update, as that's when it's going to play. From this point, I can just hit Record. And I just want it to be a quick swell, so I'll go to about 5 frames in. And I just want it to scale up to about 1.3 on the X and the Y. Then I'm just going to copy this node from the beginning here, and at 10 frames, put that back in. So when I hit Play, you just get this nice little bounce of the text. At this point, I'm just going to go back to my project window, find this animation, text update, and just unclick loop time so that it doesn't play over and over again. We're almost ready to hook it up, but first, well clicked on HP text once more, we now need to go to our animator. Again, you can find this under window if you need it. You'll notice that text update is currently our default state in the animator, which is not what we want. So I'll just right click, create a new empty state, which we'll call idle. I'll then right click it and set this as our default state. So what'll happen is in our code, whenever we take damage or gain health back, we'll call text update. And then we just want it to go from text update back to idle, which does nothing. So let's right click on update. We're going to make a transition. It'll come down here. So now in our code, we can call text update. It'll play and then transition back to idle. So let's just go back to our player health one last time. So in here, we just need two things. First of all, we need a public animator reference. Let's call this one health text anim. And then we'll just come down here and right after we take damage, but before our health actually changes visually, let's go health text anim dot play. So we just want our animator to play the text update animation. Keep in mind that what you put in your code should exactly match what it says here in your state machine, including capitals or not. All right, let's just hook that up. So I'll double click my player here. And in my player health, I'll now have a spot for the health text animator. So I'll grab my health text, put it in there, and we should be good to go. All right, with that done, we now will have text that doesn't just update, but actually gives a little bit of an animation each time we take damage just to make it look a little more interesting. All right, I hope you found that one helpful. If you have, please be sure to like, subscribe to the channel, or just leave me a comment down below as every interaction helps. Until next time, this is Matt with Night Run Studio. Cheers.